Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Steel Division 2 with the Fate of Finland DLC, playing on one of the new maps, playing with one of three new Axis Divisions. There's also three new Soviet Divisions, and of the two new Axis Divisions, two of them are finished. So I'm actually here playing with uh, one of the two. I've given some AI uh, alongside of me as well in this 4v4, and the AI are actually also using a, a finished deck. Now, a little short story here, I once reviewed the Finland DLC for Wargame Red Dragon and they had a tank called the Sturmi, which was literally a 10 point Stug tank that some reason was still used in a 1970s at least in Wargame. Guess what's here? And in that review on Steam, I mentioned that this was an indication for a new World War II style war game coming out. And guess what? We're probably four years after the release of the Finland DLC. And finally, I can call in my Stormies here as the World War II version of Finland in Steel Division 2. So sort of a shout out to that four-year-old review. And um, funnily enough, I don't know what it is with the Germans, or the Finnish, sorry. But obviously this is called the Sturmi after Sturmgeschutz. Uh, they have the KV-1 here, called the Klimi, and I can only assume it's called Klimi after the Kliment Viroshilov, which is what KV stands for. I believe it's the uh, producer or the developer or the designer of the KV-1 and KV-2. Interestingly enough, they call that the Klimi. Uh, disappointed this isn't called the T-34E, or this isn't called the Panzer IV-E, or the T-3485E. Anyway, with that weird intro, let's just play and uh, see what this unit's like. So the new two Finnish divisions are only a B and a C. Um, the, this one is a tank division. The other one is an infantry one, but they get one slot for tanks, just one. They have a one slot for tanks, one availability. Now, luckily, you don't have to choose what you want because they only have one tank you can pick. It's a 15 point T26. I am not really convinced that that is necessarily one of the better divisions, then I think that the way they've done this is basically they're allowing people to play the game, and if they want to play with a division that's really not going to do very well for them, they are more than allowed to do so by the developers. I've seen it already. They are, you're more than welcome to not play a division that's necessarily good uh, in this game, which I always thought was kind of interesting. Anyway, we set up our initial units. We are playing against... Uh, it looks like I think I gave them three Soviets on the enemy team to try and keep the Finland versus Soviet uh, sort of idea going. Let's keep this move. Uh, let's move the recon up, infantry up, and let's get another tank coming up here. We need some uh, commanding ability. Artillery, we'll get a mortar up here. And obviously we're initially dealing with some light contact. Some snipers who are being assaulted by our KV-1, also known as the Klimi. And it does look, I do like this game also. Oh no, oh no, no, can't show that. YouTube is gonna think that that was a real okay. And now I just said the S word, so I have to cut this video and put something over the tank because I know for a fact, YouTube cannot see the difference between a fake S word and a real S word. Not that I think there's anything wrong with the S word because hey, it's history, but YouTube looks a bit differently in that, so, uh, yeah, we cannot say the S word, we cannot say the, and I don't mean the racist one, um, I mean the one that is the other word for what were two, <laughs> what were two Germans. I might have to cut myself saying that word too now, because now, oh my god, YouTube 2020, am I right? Anyway, Finland DLC, um, I bought it. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to buy it because it's like 15 Cana it's 20 Canadian dollars at uh, 15 US dollars but then I saw that the campaign that comes with it is really big like I only did one and a half campaign I believe I only showed you guys the one campaign I don't even think I showed you guys the other one that I sort of got into and then stopped playing because I wasn't not good enough for it a little bit afraid to play the Finnish Soviet one because my god it is like the low oh, that didn't mean it that it's like the largest map that I've ever seen in a game. It is ridiculous. I think there's like 500 divisions on the map. Okay, that was a bit disappointing. Really hoped he would took. Oh, run away! Not my ace! I do have more anti-air available. I guess we should call these in while we have the chance. As we're also moving up our commander unit. Oh, run away! I do have one anti-air unit over here somewhere. Where did it go? It's right here. Right, these are his LA-5s. Let's take a look at this AA truck as it opens fire. 
Rob's mod in Men of War Assault Squad 2 has these uh, same trucks, and they are very brutal against enemy planes. Let's stop. Oh, actually, we can just fire on the move. Oh, uh, and I guess, why did I say planes? I meant infantry in uh, Men of War Assault Squad 2. They're currently engaging, doing uh, light damage. Ooh, one LA-5 going down. The other one, radiator damage. It's probably going to make it back. That's just a 792 millimeter machine gun. 762 millimeter machine gun firing a little bit of... Uh, of, of, it's not really a heavy firepower weapon you can throw at the enemy Order with that. I mean, it's not going to shoot down a plane, yeah. especially not a fast fighter, I'd assume. In the meantime, uh, our friends on the left side are pushing pretty damn good. I'm thinking we'll add an ISU-152 in this more open area here on the left. We'll add some firepower, and then we'll get a Sturmi uh, Kapal. I can't pronounce any of the names. My sincerest apologies to any Finnish people watching. Um, or anyone who speaks Finnish. I don't speak Finnish. I am I have a lot of respect for people who do speak Finnish because it looks really ridiculously hard to understand or to say Whatever you say, it's, it's like Elvish. I'm sure that some people look at that as like Dutch's Elvish language, but holy crap dude, like Kivari, Jakari, Lahitur... I actually noticed this means that I have an anti-tank anti rifle. Jack... they just... there's five umlauts they're not probably not called umlauts in in finnish but there's five umlaut ace like one two three four five jack adi kapil I, that's probably i don't know i feel like if you just pull your mouth in a weird angle you're probably going to speak finnish very well anyhow my su-152 on the left side isu-152 we'll get it to store me to give a level up on the leadership and uh we will move it there and then we just need to find out where my anti-air went so anti-air move up Infantry move up to here. Artillery, let's start hitting their mortar because uh, that's going to be annoying otherwise. And I believe we don't really have a lot. We can just get some cheap infantry on the left side here. Have them supported by a machine gun unit. I don't think this guy has any... No, actually, I do have the Finnish line machine gun. It's actually, that's a French line machine, isn't it? It's the... Uh, what is it? The uh, FM-24-29. Alright, we're going to move up and we'll have this uh, SU ISU-25, ISU-125 supported by the Stug. That way it'll uh, probably blast some boys out of the way. There's a M3 Lee back here. My lord. Alright. Let's get these boyos. Dismount over here. And let's pull the Stug. It's, it's not a Stug. It's a, it's a Sturmi. It's a cute little Sturm tank. We'll have a push up as we send up the AA trucks here. And one back behind this shed. I gotta say, I don't have a lot of field of vision experience. I definitely didn't play it as much as I thought I would be playing it when the game came out. Um, when they announced the Division 1, I definitely wanted to play a lot more than I ended up playing. Um, and then when 2 came out, I was like, man, Eastern Front, you know, a little bit... I feel like Eastern Front and Western Front are both really overdone, but I definitely prefer Eastern Front to Western Front. I just feel like, uh, like Normandy and stuff has been so overdone. Oh, this is not good. Wow, those Los Vetkas just took it out. Wasn't it Los Vetkas that took it out? That's not good. We actually need an anti-tank gun up here on this ridge to support us, and then we probably want to push this one a no, little bit forward and give a little bit of its commanding ability to that unit. Now we just need to find T26. This is a thin forest, right? It looks like it. Let's get the T76 recon tank out here. Infantry. Let's go. Oh no, my an oh, there goes my anti-air. That's not very good. This AT can probably has to hurry up here now, actually. Let's put this one over here. This them can they can go down there. Oh, they are rushing into this town. Let's put up the uh, Kivari. Kivari? Kivari. Oh, uh, and this is bad. I don't know. Oh no. Hold, hold, hold. We're gonna need this to engage. Oh, it's getting blasted up the butt on the road. It's not even aimed yet. Now it's aiming. Oh, that's a big old hit. Oh, one meow. What? We, what was it? Did this make a meow noise? I didn't mean to. We just destroyed the uh, one of the T70s, but now it's obviously stressed out and it's taking damage. Let's get another one of these uh, anti-tank guns over here ASAP. In the meantime, we'll dismount his infantry. They can sit over here. Actually, they can probably sit on this ridge next to the anti-tank gun that should be coming over here. Come on. I know it's a two-star T-70, but damn it. Didn't get it. Uh, now we're dealing with a sniper. 
as we also need to get some uh, infantry up in this forest area to the left to cover this. Let's get this recon unit one out. And then we'll send our Yakari. They are at 100 meter range for the AT, I think. So they should be able to get this thing in just a second. There we go. Hey, nice. Got him. Nice job. Easy, easy job, easy job. Okay. We can take out this T-70 at some point. We'll deal with these snipers right now. Hopefully, hopefully they can deal with it. And then this, oh, we lost the anti-tank and I guess I forgot about that. No, let's move you up right now. We don't need you to engage this stupid T-70 that you're never going to kill anyway. Let's move the Kivari up one, have them engage the snipers. They're going to be a little bit better uh, able to deal with that, I assume. Okay, now we're also, we have a machine gun engaging the sniper V. And we'll actually move these guys out and take over this enemy tank in just a second. Kind of want him to throw a grenade at it, to be honest with you, but... Plane, plane, plane. Sniper V are down, that's awesome. Let's see, oh, an IL-2, this should be an easy job for the ace, ME-109. Oh, he overshot it. Let's not get you killed. Let's get you out. You're an ace. We can't lose you. Can we not? Uh, we can really capture this, I'd hope. If not, we'll just make it explode with a big boom boom, but... Alright, well... There we go. That works, I guess. It's not really what I wanted to do, but... Sometimes you don't have a choice, I suppose. Our AT gun... Oh, our mortar's been getting hit constantly. Our AT gun... Uh, disembark, and then move to the ridge right here. They can now cover this road somewhat. Oh, we're in phase B. That's good. They can cover the road somewhat. Not very well. There's this forest over here we can't really see out of, but... All right, infantry is just uh, put themselves down. They can cover this area. And on the right side, we'll push these three guys across, because we've been doing nothing here but just... Well, not doing... We've been doing nothing here but doing nothing. I guess that's not really English, but you get the point. And we can get some Brewster Buffaloes. Now, the other day, I read an article that said that the F2A Buffalo, or the Brewster Buffalo, was actually the highest kill count plane during World War II. And that comes because in Finnish service, they apparently shot down, uh, I can't believe what the numbers were, but anyway, the numbers, what it comes down to is that they had the highest kill count for any plane of World War II. So they must have been doing a lot of uh, killing. Now, obviously the Soviets used, what was it, I-16s, probably even biplanes, at least during the, the Winter War and the Continuation War even. So I'm assuming that the Brewster Buffaloes were... Uh, we're pretty decent, you know, against biplanes and, and light. Ooh, did we catch this guy? Nope. Pilot injured. This guy, oh, 07. You are not surviving. I do love this game for, like, the explosions and stuff. It does look very detailed. In the meantime, we have a Donier we could call in on a good bombing run here. Also, I totally forgot about my ISU 152. Let's have uh, some recon up here. Because they're obviously without any infantry cover. That and a machine. Oh, we have this crazy BT-42. Forgot about that. This could actually go on the left side here and do some damage. As we push up our infantry. And can we take out this enemy? Just freaking floor is just sitting there. Oh, that didn't do anything. That's I'm annoying. Uh, artillery. I know we have a commander. We have... Oh, we can't afford this right now. Hold on just for a second before we can afford that. Oh no, Donye! Oh no! LA5, take it down. Uh, Donye, use your machine guns. Hell yeah, come on. Okay, we took out some, some stuff back here. Now we have to take down. Ooh, head on. No, he missed the head on. It's like War Thunder where they don't want to do the head ons at the last second. Uh, okay, let's call our ace back. There's no point in losing the ace. Brewster is going to try and fly top cover. Oh, he's really slow. He's about to get baited up into an attack in these planes right here. Oh, actually, what is he doing? Hello? Sir? Not doing anything. We need more anti-air, that's for sure. These guys are way too good to be flying up against my stupid buffaloes, which are going to get shot down. Oh, he's right behind the buffalo. Turn. Fly, 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 fly. We just need anti-air up here. Oh, the buffalo is going to be not doing good, very good here because the LA-5s have a bunch of cannons and the buffalo only has, what is it, 450 caliber rifles. Or 450 caliber machine guns, sorry. Well... We do have some 40 millimeter. I think those might be Bofor cannons on the uh, on these anti-air units. Let's see if we can take over this area here. Let's send in a recon T26 because that's what we need up here, am I right? 
Okay, they're getting massacred at the moment by something that's just destroying us in the tree line. And the DP group, which obviously has two DP machines, is massacring this one machine gun. There's something in this building right here. We need to figure out what it is and hit it. BT-42, let's engage. Let's see what this thing has. 114mm HE shell. Oh, that sounds really big. Ooh, that was a big boy. It fires fast, too. That's awesome. Alright, let's move it up, see if we can get any eyes on. We're totally currently getting demolished by a stupid mortar. Let's see if we can push up. We need some smoke cover. Where did my mortar go? Oh, we have smoke? Yes. Okay, cover this with smoke. Push up. And hopefully this will do the job just fine. Let's get two Panzer IVs up here. Some anti-tank rifles. And the smoke isn't isn't here yet, but it's currently smoking, so we should be all right. Let's give the artillery the big boy that I wanted in here. And now the smoke cover should be allowing us to push. The thing is, there's no cover on the right side of the road here, but uh, we'll drop some smoke right here as we push in. And these guys need to sit up the road and sort of watch. Okay, and then we'll get a machine gun team and a sniper. And they're oh, we could probably take out this Valentine. That'd be a, this will be an interesting shot. We can take out the Valentine. So meantime, our Kivari, I can't spell, I can't say your name. Sorry, Finland. Are pushing up? Is my eyes U one five two? He's got to have eyes on his Valentine any second. And I, I, I'll give it a 50-50 if it takes it down or not. Or it doesn't have eyes on it. There we go. All right, come on, Izu one five two. Don't disappoint me now. Oh, I don't want to show this. I can't show that. Oh, this is gonna. Ooh, whatever that was was a big bomb. It was a Tu two S. Valentine is crossing. This, this anti tank gun is crossed by Izu one five two. Valentine has a lot of da like a lot of fire rate here. Okay, let's get you out of there. There's no point in losing this Izu one five two. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay. Left side. That's our another two T seventy Komrotis. Let's take those out. Help our team out a little bit. And uh, we got actually we captured this thing with enough smoke usage. That's not bad. T twenty six is very slow. We'll push this thing across the Brit the area here. Okay, we are currently getting artilleryed by something. This AT gun is. Ow, 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 what are you hitting us with? Where's my artillery? Oh, here it is. Big boy artillery. Let's move this one into position so we have both the our mortar and the artillery covered. Get an ammo truck up here. And I'm looking for my other anti-air unit. I don't know where it went. Uh, deploy, let's move up. Is my other anti-air still up? It, did, it, did it get destroyed? I see one. Oh, no, they're both here. I'm just really blind. That's okay. I'm used to being blind. Maybe you guys are used to me being blind. I'm used to me being blind. Alright, T26. Beautiful tank. Uh, that was not really meant that way. Uh, oh, enemy spot. They're retreating. Finland making the Soviets run. And now we just need a bunch of infantry. I guess we can get some assault engineers. We get some assault engineers to sit up in this forest. Oh, we can Oh, no! Anti-tank gun, 45 millimeter, takes it to a beautiful 226. We gotta repay him for that. That's very rude. Take out the BT-42. It should have some uh, good line of sight down the road here. We'll get the recon unit to push up. In the meantime, we're just hitting this M45. It's M42. It's gonna go back though. It's gonna get lucky. Tanks, we don't need anything here. This ISU 152 you're just gonna sit here and do nothing, I guess. Actually, what we could do is make it move here. Or at the very least, make it move here and just keep this one around. And we have unit under attack. I don't know what that is. It's my 70. Oh, it's my thing being mortared still, I think. My ammo truck should be here, and it is. Now let's look for enemy artillery uh, marked right there. We have Molotov cocktails uh, named after the foreign minister of the Soviet Union. Von Ribbentrop. If I'm saying Von Ribbentrop correct, his name was no. Wait, no, that's the German guy. I'm referring to a Molotov. So the Finnish call the called the Molotov grenades after the foreign minister. I'm not sure what the 
joke was there because it's just because he was like someone I guess everybody knew or whatever in the Finnish army but let's take out this 45 okay there thank god we saved that thing from getting destroyed we do need a repair vehicle up here oh never mind the AI is so thoughtful so nice let's keep them where they are move this over a little bit because we're getting hammered by uh, artillery still and they are hitting us some more very rude. Oh no, run away, leader, run away. Okay. Ooh, close, close, close. No cigar. Oh, we have a BT-7 flamethrower! Uh, I guess Molotov it, I mean. Reloading the Molotov, because that makes sense. Charge! Oh, we can Molotov you, I guess. Oh, mortar, mortar, charge, 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 charge! Oh god, it's it's hurting us. Oh, that was really brutal. Okay, we lost at Panzer IV. We need to get our infantry out of here and fast as possible too. Our repair truck has arrived. This Panzer IV is actually not in a bad spot. Oh, I say that now. We are they're actually in a bad spot. We need to get a ton of infantry in this force. We just need some uh, assault engineers to come right and a leader unit. And we need a bunch of just shitty infantry to push into this force on the left. Our artillery is magically still being hit, as if it wasn't our, uh, you know, AI cheating like a bitch-ass buster. TU-2S, we do have some air support. I can call it Donye on some enemy stuff back here. Like the ZIS-57? Not, maybe not a bad idea. I think the artillery is still hammering me pretty damn hard. I took out something back here. Or no, it's just them hitting the ground. Never mind. Fake C has begun. They're still hitting stuff back here. My No, not my ace! Oh, no. Well, that was his acing days are over. And I just lost... Oh, that's a lot of anti-air. I just lost both my planes right there. This is very sad. Donye, Let's bomb this forest. I don't know if there's anything where I was actually going to bomb. But we can hit a 500 kilogram bomb right here. And probably get... Oh, goddamn. I can't show this. I can't say that word. I just said the S word. And I showed the thing. So I, that's a double bad. All right, let's hope it gets out. I think that's one anti-aircraft gun firing at it. It should be all right. Emphasis on should. Come on. Float car. I don't know what that means. Pilot injured. Oh. Ow, 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 we're, we're good. We're good. Okay, we got out. I say that as another volley almost hit him and destroyed him. That would have been really sad. Let's get these anti-tank uh, anti teams to push up. And the artillery. I got the one thing I, I don't like about Civil Division is the artillery. The artillery, and especially the accuracy of AI artillery, just is, and the spammability of it is just really ridiculous. One thing that really, in my opinion, is uh, something that I hope they look at at some point in the future, because it's the one thing in this game that I'm really not a fan of, and it's the amount of just, oh, we need to get fighters for this thing. Oh, it's a Boston. We have a lot of anti-air though, but it's, oh, it's gonna get away with the bombs at least. It did drop them. It's gonna hit a lot. Oh, that hit a lot of areas. We're all pinned down. And the buildings are all destroyed, which means no cover. We're dealing. We're trying to deal. And Dushko, there's also like a 40 millimeter in this area right here. Oh man, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Let's try and find his anti-air to team that's in here as our tanks are being destroyed. Oh, we actually got this tank back. That's awesome. We are losing. Oh, oh, damn. All right, come on, Donye, hit this area. There's a Dushka still. I think Dushka's like what a 12.7 or 14.5. I always forget. It's a 12.7. It's hitting the infantry really bad. All right, come on, Donye. Oh, we are right next to this anti-aircraft gun. The Donye did it drop its bombs? Get out! What are you doing, sir? Crazy? You want to die? Ooh, those are some good bombs. There's a nice carpet bomb run. We did lose uh, one of our 75 mm anti-tank guns. We're right on top of this uh, boyo right here, this anti-aircraft gun. Now we do have a Suom. Oh, here it is. Take it down. Oh, before it kills us. Oh, that would have been a disaster. That would have just destroyed us immediately. That would have been. Oh no, there's a BT-7. We have no anti-tank. Run, 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 run. Smoke, smoke, smoke. And run, 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 run. Smoke pop up, please. Smoke pop up. I threw you like an hour ago. Did I not throw you? I, maybe I didn't. All right now we did. No, we never threw it. God damn it, doesn't throw it for some reason. All right, let's get this team over here with the recon so they can actually take out the BT-7 together. 
And the infantry here has just been massacred by artillery, by 20 mils, by heavy, like, anti-tank. Anything, everything that they have is hitting us. We need to get some more cheap infantry out here. I guess I just got a lot out here already, but... Alright, there we go. And I forgot how I have so much infantry back here. My god. Alright. Well, we found it. Take it down. Lati. Nice. Awesome. All right. They took it down. Now you can try and do some hunter-killer team stuff back here. And we can even do some anti-artillery if I still have mine left. It looks like they killed both of my artilleries, even though they had no clue where they were. That's just uh, that's still Division 2 AI for you. The one downside of this game, that the AI is so powerful. Oh, we found... A, oh, this is not good. Yeah, we're right in the middle of a kill zone of two districts. They can't, we can't stop that. There's nothing the infantry could do. It feels like infantry should actually be good in CQB against a stationary weapon like that, but for some reason it's not really. I mean, it seems like that would be the only way to balance them out, because right now they can just massacre infantry even when they have to turn around and stuff, but I don't know, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll use our ME-109 with two rockets to blow that up as we push around our infantry. We've lost a, quite a bunch of stuff, but this, the, the good thing is my team is doing just fine here on the left side. We have so many points. The thing is my stuff is just so cheap, so I don't really have a point in calling it. Like if I call it in, it's not gonna like really hurt my numbers. All right, that's a good rocket attack. Ooh, some good double damage. Enemy or friendly rocket strike coming in. I'm not sure what that was. A nibbleware for all the way from here. Thank you, AI. Very much appreciated. You can see the artillery is just flying willy-nilly across the map. It's pretty ridiculous. Okay, I'm not going to be messing around with the Sherman tank. We can't do much about that. Or keep moving around. No, they're going to be retreating. Come on, come on. How is it shooter knocked out? God damn it! Take it down! Oh man. Oh, I hate that. Alright, let's get the infantry out here. It's shitty infantry, but whatever. Alright, the BT just needs to stop, and we need to get eyes on. Let's hold fire. Let's stop, stop, stop. Let's just fire, uh, what is it, 113? Oh, yeah, 114. Let's fire 114 into this forest here once or twice. And let's just fuck this shit up. That's flames? I didn't notice that's flames. I don't see it. If it actually has a flamethrower, that'd be fantastic. It does? Support. It says it has flames, but I don't know if it does. That might just be a mistake. Can it not go in this forest? Yes, it can. It's at the Kivari and the BT... Uh, oh, there's an anti-aircraft gun here. What is it? A nine, it's 25 millimeter, but it's much... Oh, it's like a double barrel, it looks like it. Okay. Well, it looks like we destroyed these enemy uh, dushkas. Alright, let's engage. Oh no, oh no. 114, blow it up! Nice! That's awesome. Now, dushka. Dushka, which is de destroying. I'm surprised it hasn't been killed yet. Hell yeah, come on, let's get take it down. Where's nuts? Oh, it's behind. Oh, come on. So you should have surrendered! Alright, this works too. I know, that's a... Oh, falling back. That's a lot of... Are you kidding? That's so much stuff in this forest, dude! Blow it the hell, the kingdom come. Let's go. Oh, these guys are dead. More... Ooh, bomber down. We took down an enemy Boston bomber. That's great. Uh, get the Sturmies to come up here. Get the, and to tank, or the tank to move up. Infantry is being demolished. We need to get this. We're going to do an entire Finnish air campaign here. Oh, we need to deal with the enemy. Boston, though, is coming in. Boston looks like he's bombed something. Oh, he bombed. Oh, damn, he bombed the guy who was just moving. All right, we got a lot of... Okay, Donye dropped a ton of bombs. And uh, this one is actually just kind of doing nothing here. Okay, that's fantastic. Nope, let's pull you back because you're going to get demolished. And now we just push, push, push. This is more of a sort of last... We're not even going to shoot this guy. We'll shoot him if we get close enough because it's move and shoot on these PPSs and SMGs. And they just can't catch up to us. They can't... We're just going to walk all over them. Here we go. Try... Because the bombing run made them all suppressed and are in our territory. 
doesn't look like they have any leaders nearby, which makes it easy for us to just make them surrender. A BT-7 on the flank. Panzer IV or Nilonen. It's taking a very long time to aim. Please, sir. And fire away. Nice. Okay, keep moving. We've surrendered two units. We're making a large dent in their flank. Even our Donier, which apparently has arrived, is over here. Do we have more Panzer IVs? Oh, I forgot. We got some Sturmies coming up on the flank, too. We can send these three in through the forest. Oh, look at that. Hello, boys. No, 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 no. Return fire. Fire, fire, fire. Molotov. Oh, oh, pinned down. Come here. Come back. Stop, you bastards. Oh, we just pinned all of these guys down with Molotovs and stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. The finish. The, the, I guess I almost said something bad about French people there, but I was going to say the color of the French people, but don't be offended, French people. I know you're not that surrender heavy as everyone always says you are. As we are pushing through the forest here, pushing them all the way back to their area, we are even dealing with this DP group out. Actually, let's do it right now before they massacre my boys running across the field. And it's sort of working. Come on. Move it up. They are not doing very good. We have a ton of infantry coming up here to forest, but they're not gonna have a great time fighting us. I do. Oh, enemy anti anti air unit. We need to push these bastards out of the damn forest over here because they are bitch ass busters, as I would say. All right, let's push these guys up. Sturmi one and two. Oh, now we're just massacring them. They can't even, they can barely call in any more reinforcements because we're basically at their line here. Uh, let's just call in all of these planes that we can and say, screw them. Uh, what does this have? This is the 1500, okay. Let's drop some bombs right here in this forest before my men move in. Have all these guys set up on the tree line here and then we can even send up, oh, there's some anti-air right here, hello. Don't worry, bud. We'll get you just in a second. Nah, this is brutal. They can't even get out of here. My Lahitoriunta is actually down to one man, but they do have a TNT. Uh, it's not going to be in range, is it? Get in range. Oh, he just died as he was in range. My Jeyu, my Donyez needs them to take out the anti-air. Yeah, we must be close on these enemies. Oh, there's actually a bunch of guys in here. And they are a Morskaya. There's a, there's a Marine. There's actually, I think it might be one of the new units. There's the Morskaya guys in here now. Molotov, we're in range. And flames out. Damn, that's good. All right, they're hurting. All right, there's a ton of Morskaya Marines in here. I mean, Morskaya means Marines, I'm pretty sure. But, okay, anyway. We need to get more infantry up in here and fast because we're going to lose the... My infantry is here is not as good as uh, theirs, so I'm going to lose the infantry battle. Molotov out. Ooh, taking down a three members on that Dushka. That's fantastic. I'm surprised they're not retreating or surrendering. I guess they're just on their side of the of the area here. That's why they're not surrendering just yet. Gornor Strelki. I'm, I believe this might be paratroopers. They do look kind of weird. I don't know what they are. Gornostoki might be paratroopers or airborne. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's get rocket runs. BT-7. We have enemy infantry. We have enemy... Ooh, enemy artillery unit. Why are we not engaging these? Come on. Moved up the road. We're getting shot. We need the tank support up here. All right, we dealt with more damage to those guys. They are now burned to death. We need to get these guys away. Actually, we could probably take down his enemy BT-7 with these air guys, but our anti-tank guys. No eyes on. We'll have to get eyes on it before we can engage it. Let's actually rocket something else while we're waiting. Let's artillery this thing. And, uh... Ooh, that's a lot of guys. Oh, we're hitting the BT-7. The BT-7's being hit. We're also getting with Morskaya Pejota. Oh, we took them down. TNT! How is that exploding? We're deployed under the TNT and D guys. It takes a very long time to reload the TNT, apparently. You know, I would, don't know. Oh, that's bad. There's a M what is this? It's, like a, it's an M3 Lee down here. Come on. We get like four tanks down here. Three tanks. Lost the two of them. Anyway. Oh, we lost this area over here. Danger close, as in like they are not surviving. The TNT might come out if they have a... Oh, they just... Damn, they just died. All right. Move up my own anti-air to cover what I have up front. 
I am actually very, very proud of how we've defended this, uh, or I guess pushed them back here. Took down the enemy tank, and now we just need, uh, do we have any support units? No. Well, I guess we need another one is BT-42s. Actually, let's get these two T-3485s, because they might actually help out a little bit. And let's get all of these boyos. I should have probably dropped them a little bit earlier, later, but whatever. Get all those guys to push up to the corner here. These three can push to the forest there. And uh, we just have to keep... Oh, M3S gun jammed. That's good. Donier, please drop the bombs right here. Bombs away. Epic. All right, nice. On the rest of the map, I still have this ISU-152 to do nothing. I guess I could have used it a little bit more aggressively on the other side, but whatever. Tanks are getting hit by artillery and hard too. Like, god damn, are you kidding me, dude? Like, they do not let up. They don't care. That they'll hit you constantly. The artillery is that's why the enemy artillery, A artillery is ridiculously good. Pull these guys back. We're actually low on manpower here on the left side now. We do need some artillery. Where is these? There's one here that I'm gonna hit. And then there's more stuff hitting me from right, okay, so this is all over here. Let's hit this with two bombers. And we need to have a bomber ready. We'll just call him in and immediately evac him so we can call him back in again. We, do, we need anti. Uh, we need anti air on this far right side, and we also need more anti tank. Let's get two of these Panther Shrek units over here. Let's get our four T thirty four seventy sixes that are allotted to us that I'm assuming we captured at some point. And now we're going to say hello with, hopefully, bombs away, come on. Oh, god damn, he didn't drop any bombs. And we're just, like, going to get hit by dumb anti-air constantly. We need to, oh, I called it in and didn't do anything with it. I need to kick, take out the enemy air, anti-air that's right here. It's like a 95, 85 millimeter anti-tank gun. I'm hoping it fires very soon so we can take it down. I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it. That sucks, come on. No information on that. So we'll actually go over and hunt this anti uh, into anti infantry mortar. I think it's anti everything mortar, right? But I'm trying to get eyes on. What's hitting me right now? That's coming from the left somewhere. It won't really matter. We'll fire the two tens and rockets away. Not very accurate, but it suppresses them anyway. That's the whole point of the exercise. Get the infantry here to the front. And then when they are ready, we'll just push them across here. Oh, here comes some more sky. They're all ready now. Oh, that's a lot of guys. That's a hell of a lot of guys. We need to get my infantry up here. There's like 40. 40. There's like triple that. There's like 100 plus guys right there. Like, holy ball sacks. We don't have any more air support. I guess I should get some of these artillery or mortars up here, including an com artillery commander. And I believe we just need to get a ton of Jakari. Jakari infantry or assault infantry? No, they're just regular line infantry. There we go. Anti air is now fighting with the. Oh, the Boston's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. I need to get another anti air one up. Where did it go? Oh, where's the other one? Did I lose one? I might have actually I honestly just lost one without paying attention to it. Infantry, come on, deal with more sky. Uh, ooh, pin down our t mortars, or the bombers, I should say, do a good job. Let's move up the Kivadi. And we're dealing with the enemy vehicles over here. Now let's get the infantry here to move up. And we're going to get two assault engineers for them as well as backup. Now we have a ton of anti tank that we just deployed. Just need to get these guys to surrender here on the left side. Oh, we think we might have won. Minor victory. Uh, that was actually a pretty interesting game. We did do double the kills. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the uh, Finnish armor unit. We'll make a video here soon on the infantry unit, though it might not be a very interesting one because they have, like, well, just infantry, really. Uh, but for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.